All right, well, good morning, Tree Service Marketing Secrets Facebook group. Hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to do a quick live video, it's urgent. It's on the Google Business Profile, right? So it used to be called Google My Business. Now it's called Google Business Profile, which is where you basically have all the information of your business listing on Google, the name of your business, your phone number, your website, your description, you know, you can change your hours, your categories for tree service, arborist and tree surgeon, things like that. Uh, upload photos, post on it, all that. So they just changed it. And it's kind of throwing everybody for a curveball because nobody knows where anything is. So I wanted to do this quick video uh, and update you guys on what to look for when you go click on your Google business profile. Typically when you're in your Gmail account, that's your Google account that you're typically signed into that's attached to your Google business profile. So when you click to open it up, it looks different now. So I wanted to show you that. So let me share my screen and we'll kind of navigate through it. I'll show you where everything is that's pertinent, that's important. We're not gonna go through every little step of it. But I'll show you the things that you're going to be using most often, and that way you kind of know where they are uh, once you get in there yourself. So let's share this screen here. So hopefully you guys can see my slide here. Pretty sure you can. Um, and this is basically the Google business profile, right? So it's usually your little storefront looking icon that you click on and that you open up. And so <clears throat> once you open it up, it just looks a little bit different. So let's take a look at how it looks now when you open it up. So now when you click on your Google business profile or your Google business profile manager, if you have a few of them, let's say you click on it, <clears throat> you open it up. Now it's gonna take you to the Google search page that your Google business profile shows up on. Like the way that you would see it if you were on your own computer or if a client was on their computer or a customer, if anybody was looking up your business name, so just doing a search for your business, XYZ Tree Service search, it's now gonna show like that. So you're not gonna really have a dashboard anymore uh, that you log into and go into. It's gonna show up on your Google business profile. So in a few ways, it's a little bit easier to manage a few things. And then in a few ways, it seems like it's a little bit more cumbersome and more steps to take. So I wanted to go through this with you really, really quick. So this is how it's gonna look. It's gonna say your business on Google. It's gonna show your listing here. Uh, it's gonna show your photos and all these little things. So let's go through the first thing here. Um, so a quick overview of kind of how everything looks is again, it's gonna be on the search page. You're gonna basically be um, you know, looking at it like this, like you were just searching your business and that's it, right? So it's gonna be on the search page like that. Um, once you get here, uh, you've got your edit profile button where you can change the information of your business. You've got your reviews right here. You've got messages. If you have the app installed on your phone, you can enable messages because some people like the message. What we've seen is, is there's a lot of spam messaging going on with that particular app. Um, so you may or may not want to enable that. Uh, add photo. This is where you would add photos that show up here on your Google business profile. So you can add photo here, or you can add photo by clicking here either way. Uh, performance is kind of like your old insights. So it used to say insights. You would click on it and it would show you like how many searches, how many visibility searches you had on the maps, on the Google search, if somebody searches your name of your business versus if somebody searches a keyword, um, how many calls you got, things like that. Advertise, this is just Google trying to get you set up on their platform. Um, edit products, if you have products here, you guys probably aren't products. So edit services, this is where you would kind of change your services, uh, add services, take off services that you don't do anymore. Booking, if you want to set up a calendar on the Google business profile, that's possible too. Calls, if you want to enable calls, the only problem with that is they're going to put a tracking number on your listing at that point when you enable the call feature. So sometimes it's annoying. You're not sure where the calls are coming from, things like that. Questions and answers, if somebody asks a question. So this is basically it right here. This is everything that you need to see here. Uh, the other thing is, if you need to add somebody to your Google business profile as a manager, as a user, as an admin, as another owner, you're going to click these three dots up here. This is what we use a lot because we have to get access to these Google business profiles of our clients. They're in the tree service business. So if you click on this, you can go to business profile settings. And when you click on that, it's going to open up um, some different options that you're going to get. So this is it right here, managers. So it's those three buttons, click on managers, and then basically you can add somebody there if you want to add somebody as a manager, as an owner, as an admin, et cetera. So that's how you're going to add and get access to these things. So just wanted to show you that. Uh, but anyway, let's go through 
the step-by-step -step items. So we just did the quick overview, how that looks. Number two, how do we change our business information now that we're in this new platform? Sometimes, and, and again, guys, I'm just going to go over kind of what the most pertinent things are, the things that you probably use the most often, the things that 90% of the time you're going to be using, um, how to change business information. So we go back to the dashboard here. You can go to this section right here that says edit profile. So what you would do, you would click on this. And then you would be here. So you can change the name of your business if you have a name change, um, your categories. Usually that's going to be tree service and then arborist and tree surgeon. Um, there's a few other ones if you do them that might make sense. Description, it's always good to type out a good description of your business with some of the keywords in your local market. Like we're the top tree service company in XYZ City. We do tree trimming, pruning, land clearing, we're family owned and operated, blah, blah, blah. Just good to write up a nice little description there. Google likes to see that. When you guys open for business, contact phone number, kind of your business main phone number, uh, your website address here, uh, location and areas. This is kind of like your address for your business if you want it to show on your business profile. Service area, if you want to add in additional service areas that you cover. Uh, we always advocate, make sure you dominate in your local market first and then kind of expand out from there because we don't want to confuse Google as to what your business profile, the location is, right? So we want to make sure we dominate first there. Um, business hours and then holiday hours. This is, so this is how you change the information. It used to be in the info tab in the Google business profile manager. Now it's under business information here under edit profile. So instead of clicking on the info tab, now you're going to click edit profile. So that's the first order of business. If you need to change anything about your business, change the way it's, it's listed or looks, that's where you would go. Uh, number three, adding photos to your Google business profile, the new setup. So let's take a look here. So the easiest way to do this, well, either way is pretty much the same. So you can click on add photo here. You bring that up. And basically, you're going to basically say, is this just a regular photo or is this a logo I'm trying to do or a cover photo? But if you do photo, you click on that. And then literally, if you have them pulled up on your computer, you can drag them and drop them here. Or you can just click here and then upload them from your computer directly to your Google business profile. So that's how you would do that. Another option is to click on add photos right here. And then you would just do it. It's kind of a shortcut to adding the photos to your listing instead of doing the logo or the background one. Um, so you could click that one too. So either one of these will take you to uh, the photo section there. So that's how you would add more photos. And it's always good you know, to put as many photos on there as possible. We want to do more than everybody else in the local market. If you want to dominate on the Google Maps, this is your Google business profile. This is how you do it. You want to upload more photos than everybody else. You want to geotag some of those photos for like your local coordinates for an SEO, a little bit more SEO firepower there. And then also you want to post on here four times a month, as many times a month as you want, actually, but at least once a week, four times a month is probably sufficient. And then you want to get as many reviews as possible on here. That's how you dominate with your Google map listing. So let's go to the next little section here. Number four is posting on your profile. So let's go back to this page here. So you have the ability on here to post. So you can even go right down here and you can see all the recent posts, this right here, right? So these are your, your recent posts. So the easiest way to do another post is to just click add update. And this will open up this screen and you can basically then type in, hey, we are in, you know, XYZ city today doing, doing tree services. Um, call today for a free estimate. All right, do that. Add a photo to it. It's more engaging if you have a photo of you guys like doing some work, <clears throat> excuse me, or maybe, you know, a picture of the trucks, picture of the crew, whatever. Upload that photo, type in your update, boom, hit post. Uh, we always like to add a button like call now, um, or you can do a link to your website, learn more, and then just insert the website link of your business website uh, and then hit post. That's it. You can hit post. You can actually preview it before you even do it. So uh, let me get out of there. Okay. So that's how you would post on there. There's another option up here where it says um, add update. With this one, it's a little bit different though. So when you click on it, um, I think here you would just click add update and then kind of a similar description it comes. So it's a little bit more of a longer approach. Like you have to click a couple more times um, before you do that. So that's kind of how you do that. So that's how you would continue to post on your Google business profile. And then last but not least, 
is getting Google reviews. So, you know, a good practice is, is to respond to these reviews once you get them, because uh, people do like to see that the business is active and you guys are like caring about your web presence and things like that. So if you respond to the reviews, all the better. So what we do is, is you have right here, reviews, ask for reviews. So there's a little short link you can get. I'll show you that in just one second. First, I wanna show you, this is how people leave a review. So they get more reviews, they, they click there. And then what you would do is view the reviews. And then from here, you can go in here and respond to the review, right? You can respond to it. Or if you think it's a spam review, if you think it's a competitor trying to bash your company, an ex-employee trying to badmouth your company, whatever, you can go to report review, click on that. And it'll pop up a brief little description of what you're trying to, why you wanna get rid of this review especially if it's like a one star or a two star and you think it's just you know, bogus or phony, um, you can just go in there and report review and then put your description in as to why you're asking for them to remove it. And then a lot of times they will, if it looks like it's a phony one, right? Um, so that's kind of that. And then you can respond to the reviews in there as well. Now there's another button here that says get more reviews. So in here, when you click on get more reviews, you can see Google gives you a short link to basically request reviews from your clients. So if you don't have any of the tools that, that automate this process for you, like, like we provide one to our clients, it, it kind of takes care of the automation, does the heavy lifting for you to get more Google reviews. But if you don't have that, the best approach, the next best thing is to go ahead into your Google business profile, just like we did, and get this short link, save it to your phone, maybe in your notepad or some sort of place in your phone where you know it's at. Every job, just text this to your clients. Hey guys, would you mind giving us a quick Google review? It helps us so much online. We're trying to get 30 reviews, five-star reviews, 50 reviews, whatever your goal is. We're trying to get to hundred reviews on our Google business profile. So everyone matters and it, it helps us a great deal. Would you mind doing that if I send you a quick text? No, sure, go ahead and send that over to us. So all you do is just text this link directly to them and they can click on it and it literally pops up your Google business review uh, right there. They don't even have to think about it. They just go in there, type it in, boom, that's it. They're done. So I just wanted to show you that. That's really a good way to get a short link because otherwise you got to send them this whole long URL that nobody really wants to click on because it looks like a spam link or something. So if you get that little short link, make sure you send that puppy out as much as possible. And if you send out 20 a month, you're going to get five to 10 a month, right? That's just, it's just, it's just math and people will do it for you if you ask them to. So I wanted to show you these quick, important changes to the Google business profile. Again, as always, if, if uh, you know, hopefully this helps you out, you're probably gonna click on it. And, and if you haven't yet, I think they changed it literally two or three days ago. So our team's been in here kind of digging around, making sure we know where to find everything, but you may have been you know, clicking on it and wondering why it's going to this page. It's not just you, it's not just your profile. Everybody's across the board has changed to this new dashboard where it's basically just on the Google search page. Um, and so it's, yeah, everything's kind of here. It's pretty intuitive. I mean, a lot of the sections are the same. A few of them have changed, uh, but it's pretty simple. Um, so anyway, that's the Google business profile page. Now, um, if you have any questions or if you need our help on anything, of course, go to treeservicedigital.com. We're happy to help you there. Answer questions, book a strategy session to go over your market, see what's going on with your business how we can help you kind of dominate the local market and dominate your competition. Uh, you can go to treeservicedigital.com forward slash program, uh, which is where I kind of go over the program and then you can book an appointment there if it makes sense for you and your company. Uh, or you can give us a call 770-637-3707. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining. Appreciate your time today. Till the next one, we'll see you then. Thanks so much.